Right, this is the load on end of the machine. This is the film is still kept in light tight conditions and it will be kept in light tight conditions until we get into the bleach. We're going to join up the first magazine of exposed camera material that we've just made up in the dark room. So there's a finite amount of time to make this change. These lights alert the operator to where the elevator in here is. They're staple joins, which have to be pretty specifically done. We'll then check the lace up in this light trap. Wind the tension back into the magazine, check the lace up is absolutely perfect. And we release this magazine. This is now feeding into this elevator. This is like a reservoir of film on an elevator. And while there's no film being fed in here while we're making that change, that elevator is actually rising in here to feed this machine which is running at 100 feet a minute. If the elevator gets to the top of the cabinet, you've got a problem. So we never allow that to happen. Okay, so what's happening now, the film is coming through this um, elevator and it's coming into the first solution. Now the first solution is backing removal. So film has uh, manufactured on it something called an anti-halation backing. It has to come off the film because otherwise if you process the film and that didn't come off, the film wouldn't be transparent. So the first thing that comes off is the backing in this solution here. The next thing is it will go into the actual developing solution, which is the um, Kodak patented ECN2 color neck solution. The film, is a, the film is made of silver halide crystals suspended in a gelatin emulsion with color dyes. When it comes out the camera, it's obviously a latent image. So those silver halide crystals, as they've been exposed to light, have been excited by the light, and, they, and that actually activates them. They are what actually make the image. When it comes out of there, it actually it goes into an acid stop, and the acid stop immediately stops the processing uh, procedure, the developing procedure. It's obviously crucial that the, that the film stays in the solutions for a very specific amount of time, at very specific temperatures, and at very specific rates of replenishment from our chemistry upstairs. This ensures that if we run for eight hours or 10 hours continuously, the processing solutions have exactly the same consistency and strength as they did at the beginning of the shift. And we control all of this with these chemical control units over here. It's, uh, it's akin to stills photography, analog stills photography. Each solution has a very specific purpose. Right, the actual emulsions have now gone through a developing solution, they've been developed. It comes out of the acid and it goes into a bleach. It's not very much of an apparent image at this stage. This is going into the bleach, so the film is no longer sensitive to light, even though at the moment it doesn't look like traditional transparent negative. It will do when it gets into the fix. Okay, so it's come from the bleach, now into the wash, backwards and forwards, from one solution to the next. And between all the solutions, there's wiper blades, which you can see here, which take off the excess fluid from one solution to the next, to minimise and stop any carryover and contamination and that will go in. So this, this is the fix and you'll, you'll be able to see here, you can see the film changing into, a, into an apparent image while it's in the fix, okay? So it comes in as this kind of overall orangey colour into here. If you held this up to the light now, which you'll see shortly, you'll see it is actually the image that you've recorded in the camera.